Hello, hello everyone, this is Andy, and today we're taking a look at Volton Hell Mode or Inferno Mode Phase 1. And I just want to show you the rewards that you get for actually clearing Hell Volton Phase 1 and Phase 2. And it's this big, chonky statue of Volton himself in your estate or your stronghold. And uh, it looks pretty good, pretty lifelike, quote unquote lifelike. Oh, and also, you also get this title. So this is Beast Slayer, oh sorry, Beast Commander Slayer. It's an orange title. If you do it completely deathless, so if no one dies in phase one or phase two, you also get a, the, the title changes to Beast Raw, and you get like a nice little symbol next to your name. It looks like a minotaur, it looks like uh, Volton's head. So I just want to show you quickly the interface that comes along with uh, Inferno Mode, also the build that I'll be using. So I'll, sh I'll just show the build at the end of the video if you want to see, but I'm actually playing a support gun lancer in this video. Yes, you heard correctly, a staggerbot. You're essentially a staggerbot, but the gun lancer's role in Hell Volton is so essential. You, you're basically a full expertise build, so you have very high stagger. Cleanse when the last hit is essential, your taunt is essential, your high levels of stagger are essential. Uh, specifically with all the stagger checks in phase one and phase two, having a, a support gun lancer or a stagger gun lancer is uh, essential. Or well, not even essential, but just it just makes the mechanics super easy to do. So yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll show you the, the build at the end of the video if you want to see that. But first up, just a word from our sponsor. Defend of the Bits, a PC tower defense game brought to you by PlaySlide Studios, developed by an Aussie dev team. I actually played about a dozen hours of this game, and it's actually pretty fun. It's just released in early access, and I've already put in about two dozen hours. The artwork is really cool, the sound effects and animations are really satisfying, and there's a nice sense of progression in unlocking different units to make some of these levels really interesting. As far as I can tell, there are no microtransactions to unlock any of the units or levels, and it's a full-on buy-to-play game so far. I highly recommend you give it a go. I'll put the links down in the description. You'll see how much stagger this, like, if you look at... The stagger bar, when I use stagger, it just gets chunked. Oh, what? You mean to stagger then? I didn't know that. Oh. Hey. If I should be holding for stagger. Kimochi. The Terrene Kunjuru. Wow. 
Hey, um, tell us, tell us that uh, just before the start. Okay. Hunt? Oh. Okay, Staga soon. Staga. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And <laughs> sorry. Bye bye. The Tereri Kunjuru. He's so cool, isn't he? Fucking Tarin. It <laughs> Tarin sucks. Two people plus shit. Tyrant pulling all the girls. Hmm. Maybe KO cut Tyrant. I don't know about any Tyrant. Okay, I'll turn, yeah, for sure. Any Tharate or Megalul? From top to bottom. Yes, I did okay. For the Pride of Lucera. Nice. <laughs> oh, you can't taunt there. Oh. How do you know? Oh, shh. Ow. <laughs> Kimochi, don't die. I am one hit away. <laughs> From top to bottom, do, do you have any potions? No, no, no. I guess. Oh, that's hard. But I made it to the purple. Yeah, <laughs> but don't die though. Oh, thank you. Away. Uh, uh, get away, Ow. get away, Wolf. Gonna soon, please. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, you, I forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, and and spawn it. Oh, I got the. Goodbye, Kimochi. Oh, 
we will be stacking here. So top. Get a uh, far car. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I oh. think if one laser. Oh, wow. Thank you, Apple. Hey, get him in. Yo, Andy, how many potions you got left? Five. <laughs> Probably like four. Oh my god, you're so crazy. Yeah. When? So when should I be far away? From now. Okay. After after he does that um swamp thingy. Okay. But I think you shouldn't be getting far from now because. Uh, okay, let's take it. You got Waga Olive Yeah, don't don't get far, don't get far, don't, uh, Andy, don't get far. Okay. I think like like we're lacking of people. Which I see. Might not be able to. Not close. Ah, the angle is not like over it. Close to us. Just get far. Hey Truffle For the pride, Gachi Slim Hi. So right now we're taking a look at the expertise swiftness build for Helton Gun Lancer and it's basically a zero damage build. You're not there for damage, you're there for utility and stagger. Lots and lots of stagger. So that's why we got 1700 points in expertise and 500 in swiftness. A cooldown equipment and these are the skills. So I'm just going to quickly just go to the skills and you can look at the tripods here. And remember in hell mode presets you can or inferno mode you can max out these uh, tripods so don't forget to do that. So here are all the skills. I'm just going to go through them. A taunt, a shield slam, a fire bullet, a bash, a dash up a fire, a shield shock, and for Nelsia. So Nelsia, Nelsia is so essential with the cleanse. As for our runes, we've got Gale Wind on shield charge. And I think that's the only Gale Wind we have. Then we have recharge on taunt, recharge rune on Nelasia. We have legendary stagger on shield bash, legendary stagger on bash, purple stagger on dash up a fire, Purple Stagger on Shield Shock and Purify Rune on Fire Bullet. This is essential, uh, especially in Phase 1 when you need to cleanse extra bleeds off of yourself. Uh, as for gems, it's, it, your da again, your damage doesn't matter. Just get cooldown gems on everything that you can. And then in your engravings, Vital Hit Point, Combat Readiness, Awakening, Heavy Armor, and Spirit Absorption. So, what is your role exactly? Your role is to taunt, cleanse, uh, debuff like bleed or the slow debuff in phase two um, Also, you're there to apply quick stagger for many of the stagger checks in phase one and phase two As well as quickly deplete the stagger bar the, the, just like the general knockdown stagger bar in both phases so people so your party can Deal out a lot of extra damage uh, in synergy phases when you knock down the boss and that's essentially it. I'm going to, as for phase two, you want to swap out a shield shock. So just take out shield shock. So for phase two, you want to swap out shield shock with counter gun lance. And these are the tripods that you would use. Okay. And put a stagger in on there and make sure you change out your gems. So have at least also have a cooldown gem for counter gun lance. Okay. And that's essentially the build. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.